right, Sean Zatel here at the Bones Adams Gym. Bones, I'm going to zoom into that sick, uh, sick logo you got real quick. Let me see. Five, 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 we, got, we got fighters all throughout the gym working out. So, Bones, this is your place, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've, I've had it for a long time, but um, my friend, uh, Greg Hanley, Prince Ranch Boxing, and I are a partner, so I had it for 12 years, maybe, yeah. What do you think of this young man we have today, Parnell Fisher? Uh, he, Parnell, you fight out of Canada. I mean, you live here in Las Vegas, but... Yeah, I, I, fight, out of, I fight out of Canada. Uh, you know, but I'm, I'm born and raised in Las Vegas. But uh, Lee Baxter and uh, Samuel Vargas, they helped launch my career. You know, I'm very thankful for them. And, you know, uh, I'm, in a, I'm in the right hands with Bones, you know. And uh, we just training and see, see where we go. At, you know, I'm, I'm campaigning at 118, 115. You know, I got the talent, the skills, the height to do it. And I stand out. I'm six foot one, uh, fighting at 118 and 115 pounds. Bones, Bones uh, is Parnell, is he just coming here getting his, his training in, or are you actually his, his full-time trainer? Well, right now I'm full-time trainer, just, just have, as of recently. But like I said, he's got the skills, he's got the ability, to, but he wasn't taught the right way for his skills. Having to fight the wrong way, right way, so we're, we're redoing everything. And like I said, we're thankful for, for Lee Baxter to start in Canada. But to tell you the truth, like, now he's back home. Now he's going to get the right training. The good skill, everything is going to go right and uh, head the right direction. We're going to talk to uh, Hassan Rockman and uh, his promotional team and hopefully move this young man you know, where he needs to be. Now, this, what stands out to you about Parnell? Because right away, I don't know if I've ever seen a guy at 6'1", that's 118, 122. No, of course, that, that, that's the first and foremost. It stands out because of that, you know. Um, and being, you know, black, that, that just don't happen. 115, just that, you know, um, what, man, what's his name? My man from uh, D.C., uh, Mark's Too Sharp Johnson. Too Sharp, yeah, yeah. That's my boy, yeah, man, yeah, he was a bad dude, man. He tore things up, you know what I'm saying? So now it's Pernell's turn. Mark wasn't 6'1", I think. He, 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 no, he was, not, he was only like 5'3". Yeah, 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 that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mark was me, you know? that, That's why he stands out and stuff and makes a you know, big difference. But these weight divisions I'm talking about, the weight divisions, 115, 118, he just, you know, Mark, Mark tore it up, bro. Pernell, how, how do you let your height work for your advantage and not to your disadvantage where these little guys could get underneath? And you know? uh, I try to I, I keep them at bay. Uh, I keep them at bay. You, I use my jab. Uh, I make sure my speed and I make sure, uh, you know, I keep them at the, the right distance and I listen to my trainer bones and uh, and I'm, I'm pushing forward. Uh, and that's what I, that's what I'm being taught. And, that, and that's who I'm listening to. Because I believe in my heart, in my mind, body, and soul that uh, Clarence Bone Adams uh, will reach me to great places. Now, you know, a lot of people say that have been in boxing a long time. It's not just the fighter. They need a good team around them. And, and Bones was saying he didn't feel you maybe getting trained the right way. So, so what's, what's changing now? What was, what was your amateur experience before then? And, you know, just give us a rundown of what it was like before you got here to Bones now. Um, you know, I had a... Uh, 56 amateur fights. Uh, uh, I went to a lot of tournaments, but you know I was I was like always runner up. You know, like I, I wasn't really trained right. You know, and, uh, I was always bouncing. He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't trained right. It's just the way you know for his style and the way he is and his height. There should be a certain way he's fighting, and they have him fighting the wrong way. So that's the reason why we're trying to change that, adapt it, make a few tweaks from here and there, and then this guy. I'm saying he's gonna stand out. And he's gonna be phenomenal. What do you think of your? What do you think of the the speed? Both both of you guys. What do you think of your speed and bones? You you've seen the best come through this division. How does his speed stack up? No, his speed his speed's phenomenal. We're just working on his power right now. What, what's he got to do? What, how could you work on a fighter's power? I mean, you know, just a lot of bag work, hard work, and you know, tricks. <laughs> you gotta come here and find out. <laughs> how do you how do you feel your power is coming along? Uh, you know, it's coming on pretty well. Uh, I, I forgot to mention, yeah, I just won by a first round knockout in Mexico with a body shot. Uh, thanks to Bones. He worked with me for like a couple of weeks on that fight, and we sat on that punch, you know, because like uh, Bones and my uh, guy Blair, Clock, Blair Cobb, uh, they teach you, uh, it's like the train of thought. You got to do something repeatedly, repeatedly over again until you get it right. And, you know, and I'm glad I got a trainer, you know, like Bones that really focused like eye to eye with me and like he makes sure like I'm doing it right like 
basically like you know boxing was always like fun but bones make it more like a school like i'm at work like no you got to put this foot right in this one like he really he really takes it serious so like if any fighters out there looking like this is the you know one of the places to train in las vegas yeah and, and for people that don't know how old are you parnell um i'm 26 um my, my professional career is uh two and one you know i had uh two fights in canada and i had one fight in mexico Hopefully, I'll make my uh, United States debut here. You know, th this is where I'm from. You know, even though my box rec stay, I'm from Toronto, Ontario. But <laughs> I don't mind repping it because of Drake. Uh, just playing. But uh, <laughs> you know, it, you know, it got me somewhere, man. You know, a lot of people, in, in, you know, in Vegas, they 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 didn't, they didn't they didn't think I was gonna go that far to another country to chase my dream. But I did it. I never gave up. I stayed dedicated through the through the hardships of life and the hardships of boxing. And I'm still here until I get the green WBC title belt at 118 and 115. Can you talk about that, that first fight in your career? It was in Canada. It was against a guy who was nine wins, six losses. So a guy with 15 pro fights for your first fight. And, I, you know, I asked you about it before, and you said you felt like you didn't get the right decision you deserved in that professional debut in Canada. Uh, you know, like, they, they didn't say I was aggressive enough. But you can ask anyone there, like Lennox Lewis was there, uh, you know, uh, Chris Johnson, you know, I trained with him when I was in Canada. Uh, he's one of the Hall of Fame trainers out there in Toronto. Uh, you know, I, I was more, you know, defense on the fight because I, I wasn't in there with just uh, an opponent. I can't, I got, he was an opponent, but he came to fight. You know, I didn't have an easy route as some of these fighters that get matched up with a person 0-2 and 0-3, you know, and, and you know, like, for yeah. Fights, for, for their first 10 fights, but you know, I took it, man. I took it, I ate it with a grain of salt, and you know, like, uh, it, it is what it is. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I was set up, you know, but uh, you but you know I'm willing to fight anybody, and you know, I, I, I didn't get knocked out. I fought two, I bounced back two weeks later on ESPN, on Arthur Bitterev card, uh, thanks to uh, Lee Baxter and Samuel Vargas for that, you know, for, for getting me that win, and you know, and um, from here, the future is bright. They just have to come up the hard way, you know. Some some guys, you know. I gotta come through the hard way, but you know that's why I look up to my boy uh, Tevin Farmer. Um, you know, he came up like that. He keep the hope when I'm in my room by myself, and you know, I'm like, damn, like where I'm gonna go? Cause you know, Mayweather made the path for everyone. To, you know, everybody wants to be undefeated. Promoters, managers, they they don't really want to mess with you if they see a blemish on your record. But you know, but like Bone say, I'm six foot one. I'm one eighteen, one fifteen. Majority of these majority of these people at these weight classes. They they not gonna want to fight me anyway, but I'm here because I know I will be anybody in that in, in that um, that weight bracket or that weight class at 118 and 115. Real quick, you know, Salito was fighting uh, this Saturday. He started with ton, with a lot of losses, and now he's main event in HBO for the fifth or sixth time. So you know, for everybody, it's not they're not always gonna go 50 and 0. Yeah, but, you know. yeah, uh, uh, you know, it, it's true, and you know, I take my. I, I take my path off to him, and you're correct. It's a uh, different path to rose to glory, but you know I'm here. I'm in. I'm in the right hands. You know, and I got people that notice that I stay in the gym and I stay dedicated and hard work. And you know, things will. Uh, the table will turn. And, you know, I will be a champ, and I will be standing on the throne pretty soon. Now, for both of you guys, man, I wanted to ask you real quick about your father. Uh, I know he he trained a lot of fighters for a long time at Barry's Boxing, other gyms. So what did he have to do with your life and where you're at right now? Um, you know, if my dad never stepped in a boxing game with me, I probably wouldn't be boxing no more because even though, like, uh, I, don't, I don't train with my father and stuff, uh, every the Vegas community knows us, you know, because we put in work, man. We, we train at every single gym. I spar almost everybody in Vegas. You know, I trained at the Mayweather gym, Hit Factory, any gym you think of, you know. I trained with, a, you know, other notable uh, trainer, Jeff Mayweather. You know, you, so, you know, me and my dad's like, we, we've been around for a long time. And if, like, uh, if, if my dad wasn't probably on this earth no more, I don't know where my boxing career is. So hopefully uh, he lasts until I get to the belt, you know. And you're, you're a junior, right? That's uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a, yeah I'm, you can say I'm a junior, you know, like, but, uh, yeah, I'm the third, actually, so. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, it's just like Pops ain't going nowhere. Pops is yeah, always going to be here. So. Yeah, yeah. See, Pops always good. Pops is an OG of the sport like yeah, you both. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. So I think I got more years in it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been long, I've been a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we had to get it from you. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But hey, thanks, guys. Balls, anything else you want to tell us about this gym? That you no, I'm, I'm just saying. 
You know what, I just, I just recently uh, had my friend, uh, uh, Brandon Woods, move from Missouri. He's going to come and help me out and stuff like that. Because I've been stuck here just all by myself. So um, he has the same basic idea of how to fight. Like, we got the same terminology and stuff. So um, he's here. And um, like I said, I, I got my man right behind me, um, Blair Cobbs. He's 6-0. I don't know, 8-0, 6 knockouts. I got Kai Brooks. He's 1-0, one, one knockout over there. And so then, is he a heavyweight? Uh, no, he's a light heavyweight. He's 178. He's just kind of big right now. Right. You know, you know how fighters are. Yeah. You know, but and then I, I got a few more fighters coming in. You know, they just come in and out of here. So, um, but my my gym and just just like he says, you know, the thing is just just not me. My how I am as a person, I don't care about who's first, who's lead, who's that. Everybody when he walk in this door, everybody's a family. Everybody helps everybody. Everybody gets treated equally. Every, every, everybody helps everybody. And even another trainer coming. I'm first one to I'm the first one to step back. Hey, help me with him. Mm -hmm. I mean, because more people can learn and learn, you know what I'm saying? Because just, it, I, I may not be able to teach them what, what I need out of them, and somebody else can come in and do it in two minutes. Right. So I, I, I like those, you know, uh, two, four hours is better than two, six I mean, I just, I just love that. So everybody walks in, I got a lot of uh, people helping me out, you know, and uh, I, I shout, shout out to Stitch for helping me on my cuts. Stitch Duran. Stitch Duran, my legendary. man, my legend. He helped me out on my cuts and stuff and giving me pointers on, on how to do that and do it properly. And, wrap hands and stuff so hopefully soon i'll have that mastered right. hey thanks guys <laughs> Still want to oh yeah 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 let's do that. I'm, I'm gonna do that separate right now so thanks boss